Hi everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Technology Coordinator team here in the School District of Waukesha. In this video, I want to show you something that we get asked often, which is how do students go about editing photos on their iPad or, or even teachers for that matter. You don't need an additional app for it. In fact, it's already built right into your iPad, the power to edit and mark up uh, photos. So let's slide in. Right away, we're going to start by clicking on the Photos app. It's near the top middle of my screen, that multicolored flowered shape. And I'm going to pick the, the image that I want to get started working with. So in the lower right corner, I'm going to tap that, make it large on my screen. Now we're going to work in the far upper right corner. So you see kind of these lines with uh, circles on them between the trash can and details. That's our Edit Toolbar. So go ahead and click onto that. Now, you can see it kind of comes into this portrait mode, and we can make some adjustments to it. I'll just go through the tools very quickly. So if you would like the easy button, you can click the magic wand, and it will make it better or not. I unclicked it because I didn't like how that looked. Uh, that just does its best attempt to make it look different. Um, then we're going to move into the crop and rotate mode. So I can say, in this photo, I'd really like to get this down to just this white area here. Right. And I can also do some rotations using the little angle slider on the side that lets, lets me do a little bit of zooming. All right. The next thing that I can do is I can pick up some different filters here, so make things look a little bit different. In this particular graphic, that's not all that useful, but it can be useful on some of my images. I can do some more fine adjustments here. I'm going to take my filters off, by the way. Can do some more fine adjustments uh, with color light and making it black and white. There's a red eye removal tool. And then the tool that I'm most excited about is when I click those three dots, I click markup. So here we are, we're now in the uh, markup mode, which lets me do some basic overrider overlays of my photo. So you can see here I can add a text box by tapping the text button, the T in a box on the lower left area there. I can then move my text box around on the screen. I can double tap in it okay, to add some additional, uh, to make some edits there. I can change the color of my text. I can also change the size and just some basic font changes there. Okay, So some, some, some things that I can do with text. I can also use my drawing tool. So I'm going to draw out here just a quick arrow. One of the things you can see if you're using arrows specifically is that it tries to adjust the arrows for you. Not always perfect, but if I do a pretty good job on my initial drawing, it actually will make a pretty sharp arrow for me if I need that needed to do that. There you go. There you can see it. Now we can point that arrow around and move it around. And then when I click Done, it saves it as a copy of that picture. So that's an easy way for us to do basic editing of images, uh, adding filters, doing things like that. And here you can see I have a new copy with my markup text that I can share with my teacher or with students as, as I'm working on it. So that's how you edit a photo and mark up a photo using the Photos app in iPad. 